Good morning. Welcome to the blog for Thursday, January 12th. Well, I think it's finally time I comment on this ridiculous story that just won't go away concerning a Castleberry homeowner and the city of Castleberry. Let me lay this out. You've probably caught wind of this in the local news. Guy who lives on North Orlando Drive in Castleberry back in 1998 began construction on a BMX bike track on his property at his house. He's completed this thing. It's huge. It's awesome. BMX uh, riders from around the world come to uh, run on Castleberry Trails, as it's become known. And then now in the last six months, the city of Castleberry has all of a sudden decided that this thing is illegal and needs to be bulldozed. All right. They cite his lack of permits and the fact that the track is constructed of clay, which causes a floodplain concern. Now, listen, I see both sides of this. I certainly understand where the city is coming from. And you know what? Yeah, he probably is in violation of a bunch of different codes. But Castleberry, could you have acted a little sooner? Like, I don't know, maybe back in 1998 when he started building this thing? No, you're going to wait 13 years. And this track has now pretty much achieved almost legendary status among BMX riders from around the world. And you guys now want to bulldoze it. I get the permit thing, but the floodplain deal, that's kind of what I'm confused about. That's a weak excuse. Are you going to honestly tell me that in the last 13 years, we haven't had serious, serious storms hit this area that have dumped copious amounts of rain? I'm assuming, unless that BMX track has some dome over it, it's been rained upon. Are you just now concerned about the flooding situation? Come on, this is ridiculous. Again, I think City of Castleberry, you've got much bigger fish to fry. Have you taken a look at the corner of 1792 and 436 lately? My God, leave this guy and his BMX track alone. Go work on something else. I'll catch you on the air this afternoon. Speaking of racing, Rolex, 24 hours of Daytona tickets again in the 5 o'clock hour.